King. So let's get an update on all of these stories. Jane King is joining us live from the Nasdaq in New York with more on this. And we've been watching these flight attendants and of course the gas prices. Tell me more about both. Well, that's right, Ron, and a lot of people are hitting the road for the long weekend, so a gas price is certainly a focus. Now, the national average for regular gas is three thirty-six a gallon. That is down about fourteen cents from last month, down forty-six cents from a year ago. That's going to AAA, which says the current average in Houston is two ninety-four. Last Labor Day, it was three thirty-eight. Now, barring any unexpected road bumps, geopolitical events, experts say prices should keep falling for the rest of the year. Well, to dig. To college students' perspectives on the upcoming school year, Forbes advisor found that the many concerns that college students are shouldering, and among those, uh, what kind of classes do they prefer? Now, 78% of students choose in person or hybrid classes over online only. And more than half of the students surveyed by Forbes advisor say they plan to use scholarships, grants, or financial aid to pay for college. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve found the least regretted college major is engineering, the one with the most regrets is social and behavioral sciences. And United Airlines flight attendants voted overwhelmingly to authorize a strike if their contract negotiations fall with the union, uh, with the airline. 99% uh, of the Association of Flight Attendants took part in this vote and did vote in favor of it. Some picketed after the vote took place to get word out about their demands. Shron? And speaking of which, we actually have some video earlier. We show some people picketing in Austin here in Texas and where we have a live reporter in uh, Bush Airport right now watching for that because we know this is going to, of course, continue for some time. And Labor Day weekend, they said it's not going to impact the flights, though. Is that what you're hearing as well? Well, that's right. So this is just, it's like a, a vote to authorize a strike if the talks fail. So it won't have any impact on any travel this weekend. Um, but it is something to keep to watch because it might be uh, just in time for the holidays. So mm, we'll keep an eye on it. Very much so. So in other words, the picketing is like reminding them, hello, we're here. We need to get this taken well, care right. of. And, and I think in informing the public yeah. about you know what they want and that there's a potential problem looming. So that's why they're out picketing. All right, Janking, always up yeah. front and got all of it for us. I love it. And thank you so much for always keeping us posted. <laughs> Listen, enjoy your three day weekend. We're going to miss you on Monday. Some okay. of us going to work anyway, right. but <laughs> have a great Labor Day. All right, you all too. Right. We'll see you Tuesday. See you Tuesday. Take care. Bye. All right, little